It is late February here in Massachusetts, but the sunny warm day makes it feel more like early spring. We are going to take advantage of this weather to help some of our plants for what's left of the winter and give them an early start for spring growth. We are going to build a simple, crude, yet effective cold frame. Instead of buying new lumber for this project, I'm simply going to go through this pile of scrap wood and see what I can salvage. We are siting the cold frame on the southern side of the house where it receives the most direct sun during the day. To prep the ground, we are simply going to rake it flat and pull out all of the roots of weeds and undesirable plants. It feels so good to get my hands back in the earth. It seems like winter grows longer and longer every year. Here in this yard, we have a tremendous problem with critters of uh, moles, voles, all types of burrowing animals that would just love to get into our cold frame and eat our plants. So we are going to line the bottom, the ground, with this hardware cloth. This is a half inch mesh. I am joining together two pieces of 2x10 salvaged lumber using stub ends of cut 2x4s. The two pieces of 2x10 stretched together to make a length just over nine feet three inches long. This will make the back wall of our cold frame. The trays that we are going to be putting into the cold frame are 21 and a half inches long. The hardware cloth is 24 inches wide with a half inch mesh. We are going to overlap two squares of mesh, or one inch, and staple it across the bottom of our 2 by 10s with our staple gun. Next, we add the sides onto the cold frame. Notice how the rear of the side is higher than the front. This creates a slant that will face the sun to allow the maximum amount of light and heat to be generated to keep our plants warm and happy. I am presetting the screws to make it easier to attach the sides to the upright backing board. Do it work. The box structure of our cold frame is nearly complete, and although she ain't pretty, if she works, she's beautiful. Our plant trays fit in here beautifully. Now we just need to cover it. The cold frame cover can be just about anything that is translucent. We are going to make a simple frame using 1x1 one one Trex and 1x4 one scrap boards, and we're going to cover it with a plastic painter's drop cloth, and then use our staple gun to stretch the plastic over the frame and make it tight so that it creates a greenhouse-like roof. The plastic needs to be cut to size. Make sure when you're cutting the plastic, you leave enough space to overlap the edges. 
frames can also be topped with old windows, storm windows, window sashes, or panes of glass. The cold frame bodies can be built of materials like hay bales, or can even be dug as pits in the ground and overlaid with the translucent covering. The average cold frame can keep its interior environment approximately 1.5 climate zones warmer than the outside environment. Yeah! I highly recommend getting an inexpensive high-load thermometer to monitor the temperature. 160 degree day on the outside can bring your cold frame to an astounding 110 degrees on the inside. There you have it folks, your very own cold frame. It only took a few hours, it was simple, easy to build. Let's hope it gives us the yield that we hope it's going to.